All right, I'm going to do a quick LT Spice crash course for Mac and Windows users. Go to uh, and it'll be this link um, right here on the main page. Choose your download. Once it downloads, you're going to double click on it. It's going to show here. You're going to go into here. This is a little different than what you're expecting on Macs normally. You're going to put that in there. And actually, I've already got it in here. So, uh, LT Spice. Open it up. This will pop up consistently. Um, it's an it's actually a bug. Just ignore it. You don't need to update anything. So here you go. You can start a new schematic. Um, you can add grid dots, so it's easier to see the scaling. And this is the difference with Windows and Mac. Is Mac you actually have to access things through your right click or command whatever command left click. I I just do double tap. So let's just draw a simple circuit. Uh, it's easier to start with uh, the wires uh, in the shape of the circuit that you want. <clears throat> and then you can just uh, drop in, hit escape to go back to normal view or normal tool tip. So wires is F3. I'll probably end up using that more. Component is F2. So let's say we want to do a voltage source, then you can just drop this right in and it clicks it in for you. <clears throat> um, function F2 for part, resistor, it's just showing right here anyway. So, and by the way, notice the, the folder that these are all in up here. If you had access to other folders that we show here, and in fact, I'll show you, it's gonna auto-generate another folder for your own circuits. It'll auto-generate for this particular circuit, in fact. <clears throat> so we also need um, a ground, which another quirk of this is that you actually don't get to ground through component. You go net name and ground. It has to, all circuits apparently have to have a global ground. Even I tried to use com. Uh, this is a common, and you'll learn about this, but for some reason, these circuits need a global a global ground. Okay, click there. So this circuit is ready. Well, we have to we have to give it some values here. Just I right clicked on that to give it a value here. There's probably another a number. Let's see when when you see the hand here, you right click on it. It gives you uh, sort of the same option here. You can also include a, a resistance in series just so that it's no longer an ideal source. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna use ideal everything, essentially. Resistor here, let's just say 1K. Uh, resistor 1K. Okay, so let's try to simulate this thing and you'll see what happens. No analysis command found. So this is a spice program, which means you actually have to have, you have to give it a spice directive. And the way that you do that is draft a spice directive. And it'll give you this, uh, you just type in the directive. If you don't know spice directives, which you shouldn't know, unless you've used spice before, then you can actually go like this, help me. And you can do step, which is to step through values, um, or just to an analyze. Um, so transient is if you want to run over a certain amount of time. For this, for, for this analysis we're doing, we just want to find uh, what's called an operating point. And it's over here, D DC bias point, and it tells you how the, the syntax for that all it requires is this dot op. So if you, if you wanted to do transient, for example, 
the syntax for that is dot tran, and then you have to enter all of these options, wh whatever options you want. So time to stop. So <clears throat> how much time do you want it to, to run for? Let's say we want it to run for one second. And that's, that's really all. All the rest of these are options. You can add all these extra things in here as options. So I can run this for one second. I don't, I don't need a transient on this because it's just going to be boring, nothing going on. But I do want to find the, the point at which I'm trying to find the value, the, the operating point it's called, for this particular. I'll show you another option when we get to it. So this is called the spice directive. Just place that in there. And then this will run. <clears throat> and Mac, for some reason, maximizes these when I run them. It does the same thing with MATLAB for some reason on figures. Um, so it, there's there's nothing going on, right? It doesn't look like it. So when you go over your hover over your circuit, then you can put a probe. And notice up here in this in this uh, on the top, it, it tells you what where that that location is. So you're you're measuring voltage at node um, 002. And it's not n n is not node. In fact, it's it's net. So these are all called nets. So this is net 001. So this is a, a voltage probe, which means you're measuring the voltage at this location with respect to ground. It's always, all, anytime you see one probe, it's always with respect to the common of your entire circuit. So also, you see this, this is a, an ammeter, and it, and it gives you the arrow here. It's telling you that it's measuring the current going through the resistor down towards the ground. And we can see this, that's also the same direction, same direction, same direction. And sometimes you'll notice that when it doesn't give you the arrow, the arrow, it's actually measuring into the device. So it'd be, if it didn't give you the arrow here, then it would actually be measuring the current into the resistor. So it'd be opposite of this arrow as it, as it sees right here. So let's measure the voltage right here. There you go. So it's, it's five volts. Um, and it, we didn't give it any directive for the, the x-axis, so it's just arbitrarily showing it going on for the whole whatever. So um, that's it for how you do an analysis for a, a, just a DC operating point, it's called. Now what, what if we wanted to sweep through different values of resistances here? So make sure you're, you're hovered over this one to get rid of it. So I want to get rid of this. Uh, actually, I can just delete that in a minute here. I just right-click on this to change this guy. So now I want to sweep through this. So I have to create a variable, which is in curly braces. You give that value in curly braces, and then you can call it later in your spice directive. So I think I can just right-click on this. Yeah. So I can actually um, let's uh, see the control return gets me to a new line. So let's say I want to do this this line here. I want to do a sweep, and it's not in the analysis. It's up here in this uh, the, the step, step sweep, same thing. So name of parameter to sweep is going to be R. <clears throat> Nature of sweep. Let's just do um, decade is uh, every multiple of ten. Start value. Let's start at 0.1, and let's start, stop at uh, 100K. Number of points per decade, 10 sounds reasonable. And it's showing you how you would type this directive here if you didn't use this tool. So I could have just I could have just typed this out. Okay. Oh, and it got rid of my other directive. So let's see if I can. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not even sure if I need that dot op anymore. Let's try this. No analysis command, right? So you have to do an operate. You have to do some sort of analysis. This is just telling you um, what sort of parameter parameterization to do, but it doesn't give you the the analysis um, directive. So I do have to do this dot op for this particular type. There's no need in. Um, I don't think there's any need in doing a time. Let's see if it works. So you can actually 
um, add traces here, it tells you what all, what all the possible values are. And if I remember right, it was VN002, right. So this is, you look at the, the x-axis here, it's, it's sweeping between um, 0 0, 0.1 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm. And then you can see that the voltage at that node is, is gradually increasing as we sweep through that resistor. <clears throat> so what if, what if we wanted to adjust both these resistors at the same time complementarily to each other? So in other words, um, as this one sweeps through values going from almost zero, which I, I, I didn't do zero here because um, Spice complains for doing zero resistances, so you have to just choose something really small. So if we want to sweep this one the same as it's sweeping now, but we want to sweep this one uh, complementing that. So this one increases, R2 increases, while R1 decreases, but so that the sum of the two is always the same. That's called a potentiometer. So <clears throat> I'm just going to, I've got a potentiometer made. Unfortunately, it's not included in the SPICE uh, library. So um, before I can use it, I have to know where to put those models. Like it, you guys just go to Canvas and download the model for the pot. And you have to know where to put the model for SPICE to find it. And it's not straightforward because you don't, you don't want to put it in Spice's library because otherwise when you go update Spice's library then it doesn't know that the pot exists. It just erases it. So the easiest way to do this is just to save and then just keep track of where it saves to. See this, this saves to um, documents. And this is my documents folder. LT Spice. So it, LT Spice actually creates this extra folder for you. And notice down here, I, I already have the pot here because I, I already knew where it went, but you, you wouldn't have known this. So, test circ. So you just need to keep track of where, where that is so you can go place those items in there. And if we can look at that again, I'll show you what those items mean. So th this pot.asy, that's a symbol that just describes what it looks like. And then this ASC, that's a circuit. So I'll show you what they look like in a second here. So if we want to um, place that component now, now we have those components available here. <laughs> so place the pot, escape. Wire is F3. And in order to be able to probe this center off, I have to put a wire. It doesn't probe directly to that pin. So now I can I can go up here, I right click on this, and it, it gives me the default values that I've programmed into this this particular model. I've programmed the default value values into it. But in order to sweep we're going to want to sweep these values and this val parameter um, changes the percentage of the bottom relative to the top. So I'm, I, you can call this anything but I'm calling it slider and then you can change this as well to whatever value you need. And if I wanted to open this, let, let's open the schematic. So this is what I drew just using two resistors and then I I didn't. I set these these R two three and R one three as parameters. That are these are just spice directives that determine how this how this model functions. And you can see that R one three is equal to some minimal value, so I never hit zero. Plus um, these values that are variables. And it gets kind of confusing because these ones have to be in braces, but these ones can't be in braces because this is a this is a mathematical operation here. So this directive on the bottom is saying some percentage of the total R, right? So this val has to be zero to a hundred so that it gives you some percentage. And then this is one minus that. So you're, you're always getting something between zero to one multiplied by this R. So 
that's the circuit schematic. That's what it gives it. Then there's also the symbol. And, and the symbol is just a drawing. <clears throat> and there's no directives. I created this instance name so that it would, so you knew what the name was when you created it. See, this, is, this name is X1. Um, okay, so I've created the, the step parameter as, I've called it slider. So let's change this to a slider. And we're going to step slider through 0 to 100 in increments of 10. And then control enter dot OP. Okay, let's see if that works. And we want to see that center voltage again. Oh, somehow I didn't actually save this. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so it stepped through 10 increments from 0 and went 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, so on. And it's measuring the voltage here. So you can see that that voltage is increasing as we're increasing the bottom resistor relative to the top. And it goes all the way from 0 to 10 volts now instead of at 5. So there, there's, there's numerous different directives that you can use, but don't get buried in doing the directives. This, this first semester is not for um, spending too much time on directives. Um, just minimal. There's just going to be a minimal, minimal sub subset. But you can, um, you can see what those directives mean. Uh, uh, view spice uh, netlist. So this is the description of that circuit um, in code. This is, a, this is a spice code. So it's, it's saying that there's a sub-circuit within this guy that is this R1, R2. Um, that you, that's that's the circuit um, within here. You have okay. So th this is the value of using this particular software is that you're gonna you're gonna be introduced to doing these types of things, which is what you really need to learn um, going going on with your uh, your education if you're gonna do anything in circuits. All right, this has taken plenty of time. Bro.